So this is question two, Higher Maths, 2011. So a line has an equation 3y plus 2x equals 6. What is the gradient of any line parallel to this line? Well, first of all, lines that are parallel, as these two are, will have the same gradient. The problem here is that this equation is not the best form for the equation. By that we mean you cannot tell what the gradient is just by looking at this equation. Let me show you an animation. Here we have a graph and here's its equation. Now the form of this equation is special. It's of the form y equals some number, in this case 0 0.5, we'll call that m, times x plus another number, in this case 2, which we'll call c. So this equation is in the form y equals mx plus c. This form of an equation of a straight line is very useful. If we look at the graph and ask what's the gradient of this graph, 2 along, 1 up, 1 over 2. The gradient of this line is 1 half, 0 0.5. There's the 0 0.5. Now, I'm going to change this number. I'm going to increase it gradually. Um, and we'll see what happens to the graph. Well, there we have a different graph. This number m, the number multiplying x, is increased to 2. If we look at this straight line, it's now going 1 along 2 up, 1 along 2 up. That's a gradient of 2 over 1. It's got a gradient of 2. And looking at this equation, there's the gradient, 2. Let's increase it even further. We've now got a gradient of 3, 3 over 1, 3 over 1. This equation, y equals 3x plus 2, looking at this number in front of the x, the one we're calling m, it tells you the gradient. So this special form, y equals mx plus c, you can read off the gradient. Incidentally, if we just now move this number to different values, you'll see the idea that parallel lines have the same gradient. There's different values. There's 3x minus 5, 3x minus 3, 3x minus 1, 3x plus 3. All of these lines have the same gradient. They've all got a gradient of 3, They'll all, all parallel to each other. So let's go back to the question now. So, as, as we've seen, it's essential that we move this equation, equation of the line, into a different form. Now, the form that we saw in the animation that would be useful is y equals mx plus c. And then we can read off the number multiplying x, coefficient of x, that's the gradient. So, a little bit of algebra is needed. We have to get y on its own. So let's do a first move of subtracting 2x from both sides of the equation. Always keep equations balanced. So we're left with 3y on the left. 6 we haven't touched, but we've now got a minus 2x. There's the 6 positive 6. This 3, 3 times is no good, so what we're going to do is divide by 3. Now, everything gets divided by 3. Everything on this side, everything on this side. So this gets divided by 3, and this gets divided by 3. 
So a third of 3y is 1y. That's why we were dividing by 3 to get rid of this 3. Um, 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds, with a negative there, minus 2 thirds. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we've ended up with an equation of this form, y equals mx plus c. This, therefore, the minus 2 thirds, is the gradient of this line, and also, as we saw, the gradient of any line that's parallel to this line. So the choice is choice B as the correct answer.